Do you want to decorate high visibility apparel with reflective material? We have three great CAD cut options coming up next. Hi, I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stahl's CAD Cut Direct and welcome to our product demonstration of three great CAD Cut reflective products. Let's show them to you first. First product I'm going to show you is CAD Cut Reflective. This particular material is our economy version in the reflective lines. It's a great product to use. We're going to cut it, weed it, heat it, show you the application process. And this is great for pretty much any type of fabric. So you can use it on backpacks, t-shirts, nylon jackets, you name it. CAD Cut Reflective will work on it. Comes in silver. Next product, Fashion Reflect. Fashion Reflect is great because it comes in 10 different colors. We're going to demonstrate the red today. This particular material also sticks to just about any fabric. Very easy to work with once again. The real selling point here is you have 10 different colors to choose from. And the last one, this is our certified solution. If you're looking something, for something that needs to meet the certifications for various municipalities, uh, emergency responders, roadside work crews, this is going to be the product. This is 3M Scotch Light Reflective. We'll cut, weed, heat apply all of these right now. The first product that we'll cut is the CAD Cut Reflective. Before cutting, you must peel back the pink liner that's protecting the adhesive. When cutting CAD Cut Reflective, be sure to set your blade depth and cutting down force accordingly. On a scale of 0 to 250 grams on the GX24 cutter, you'll need between 100 and 140 grams. The second product that we'll cut is Fashion Reflect. Before cutting, remove the clear liner. Before cutting Fashion Reflect, be sure to set your blade depth and cutting down force accordingly. On a scale of 0 to 250 grams, you'll need 90 grams of down force. With the 3M Scotch Light Reflective, there is no liner to peel. Simply load the material and cut. When cutting this material, be sure to set your blade depth and cutting down force accordingly. On a scale of 0 to 250 grams on the GX24, you'll need between 100 and 140 grams of down force. Now that the designs are cut, we'll complete the weeding process on all three samples. First, the CAD Cut Reflective. Very easy to weed, very easy to see the cut lines. non-pressure sensitive backing so it peels very easy. Because you are dealing with the material that has reflective glass beads actually in it, you're going to have a little bit of breaking when weeding so I'll need to go back and kind of clean this up. Uh, for that reason, I rank this material three and a half out of five stars for ease of weeding. Next is the Fashion Reflect. With this one, it's a little bit more difficult to see the cut lines. But once you find the weed border, which I, is the box that I placed around each design, simply weed away the excess material. On a scale of zero to five stars for weedability, I would rank this a two and a half. And the last product that I'll weed is a 3M Scotch Light. Weeding score, I would rank this three out of five stars. This one actually has a slight uh, pressure sensitive mylar, which means it's slightly sticky, which makes it nice for uh, if you accidentally peel up a letter, being able to position that back down. CAD Cut Reflective, two-step application, all at 330 degrees. Medium pressure or five on the Hotronics clam. Preheat your garment first to remove the moisture and wrinkles. Position your design. First application, two seconds. And you're going to let that cool down slightly. It's a warm peel. So you could rub it with a, a t shirt or heat eraser to cool it down a little quicker to get it warm, or you can simply wait for it to cool and remove the backing.
after you re remove the backing warm or cool, second step is to cover with a cover sheet and heat apply for 15 more seconds. Simply remove your cover sheet. We have a completed garment. Next, we'll heat apply the Fashion Reflect. First, preheat your garment to remove the moisture and wrinkles. This particular material applies at 305 degrees in two steps. Five seconds, peel warm, and then five seconds again, all at a pressure of four on the hot tronics clam, or a light to medium pressure. Position the design. Press for the initial five seconds. Wait a little while and peel warm. It's very important to peel this product while warm. After you've peeled, cover with a cover sheet. Complete the additional application for five seconds. And this is our finished result. And finally, we'll press the 3M Scotch Light Reflective. Preheat the garment to remove the moisture and wrinkles. This particular material applies between 325 and 350 degrees for 10 to 20 seconds. So we'll press it at 15 seconds, all at a firm pressure or eight on the Hotronics clam. Position your design, complete the application. Wait till the design cools down before you peel the backing. Let's take a look at 3M Reflective as it works in the dark. So that's it. We've customized three different garments using our line of reflective materials. The three different options. Let's review. We have the CAD cut reflective material, which comes in a silver gray. This is our economy version. We used it here on the loose fit black performance garment. We have the fashion reflect material that I'm holding here in my hand. This comes in the 10 different colors. Uh, it's very popular for pretty much any type of fabric. We've applied it to a pair of windbreaker pants here. We have the 3M Scotch Light Reflective, which is our certified solution for safety. Um, this particular product is on a high visibility performance wear garment. All of these reflective materials are lab certified for the following. With these products, it's important that you're sure to visit the product specification, the technical specification section of the website, because this particular product, you're going to see all the certifications that it passes for safety, which is going to be a selling point to your customers. Once again, three different reflective materials, all with unique benefits. What else would you expect from the inventors of CADCUT?